Hey folks, Norb here. So here's a scenario. Your new phone doesn't have an audio jack. Sure, it hasn't for a few years, ever since Apple got all courageous and removed it and everybody followed suit. But now you want to get a pair of Bluetooth headphones because you're tired of all the wires, all you know, the cables, you know, getting twisted and everything. And just as you're researching what you want, someone says something about codex. Hey, these headphones are awesome. They handle this LDAC codec, but they don't handle this other AppDAC codec. And you're wondering, okay, why should that matter to me? In short, it might, or it might not. In this video, I won't be reviewing a product. Instead, I'm reviewing the basics of Bluetooth codecs. This means that in the video, I'll cover what codecs are, what they do, the most common types of Bluetooth codecs, and what you want to keep in mind when shopping for Bluetooth headphones. Don't worry if you don't know much about Bluetooth codecs right now. By the end of the video, you'll hopefully know enough to make an informed decision when shopping for Bluetooth headphones. Note that I'm not going to deep dive into the technicals for each codec. This is not that kind of video. I'm just going to go over what you should know to be a more informed consumer. If you want to skip to any specific section, use the bookmarks along the timeline below. And as always, if you like what you see, please consider giving a thumbs up and subscribing. If you already have, thank you. Why does any of this matter? Frankly, it might not. If you're just looking for something for you to play tunes on, and you're not all that interested in whether the music is the best possible quality, then any phone or computer with audio Bluetooth capabilities will work with any other pair of Bluetooth headphones. But if you do care about getting the best quality that your hardware can offer, here's what I recommend. Make sure that your phone and your headphones both say they support the same codec. If your phone says it supports Aptex HD, but your headphones don't, then you'll be listening to stuff on SBC most likely, since it's the lowest common denominator. If you're using Apple hardware, a Mac or an iPhone, just stick with headphones that say they support AAC. If you're using Android, stick with headphones that say they support the Aptex HD, Aptex Low Latency, or LDAC codecs. As for Windows, use headphones that support Aptex, not HD or low latency, just Aptex and AAC. That's because Windows natively supports SBC, Aptex, and with a recent update, AAC. Keep in mind that this video focuses on the most common Bluetooth codecs in use today, like SBC, AAC, or Aptex. There are other codecs, but those are outside of the scope of this video. First, what's a codec? When an electronic device loves another electronic device very much, they send each other a special signal. No, okay, that's, that's not it. Now, when an electronic device, like a phone or a computer, sends an audio signal wirelessly over Bluetooth, it first has to encode that signal in a way that the device receiving it will be able to understand. It compresses that file and includes a set of uh, instructions on how to decompress it for use. The device receiving that encoded information then has to decode it in order to play the audio being transmitted. It follows instructions, uncompresses the audio, and then plays the music for you. That's encoding and decoding in a nutshell. Codecs are the language used for instruction. In fact, think about encoding like a set of literal instructions, like what you get with furniture you're building or the booklet you get with your kitchen appliance that tells you how to use it. Some instructions are simple. Maybe they have pictures instead of words, and they can be understood by anybody. For example, if you've ever gotten furniture from Ikea, you know exactly what I'm talking about. These can be easily understood by just about anyone, but the detail they can provide is limited because pictures, not words. And even though they'll get the job done, they won't tell you every minute detail. Other instructions can provide more information, but those are written in a specific language. To understand those instructions, you have to know the language they're written in. If the instructions are written in, say, Japanese, and you don't understand Japanese, then you're not going to understand those instructions. If you do understand Japanese, then you'll get the information that pictures can't provide. Codecs work the same way. If your headphones want to understand the information being sent by your phone or computer, they have to understand the language that the instructions are being encoded in. They need to understand the codec. Why do different codecs exist? Different codecs exist because different people and companies have different solutions to the same problem. In this case, the problem is, how do I transmit the best possible sound wirelessly given my limitations? What you need to know here is that some codecs are better for some things than others. Each of these codecs compresses and encodes the information a little bit differently, so they impact the way the music sounds a little differently as well. The more information a device can transmit, the more detailed the instructions are, the better the overall sound should be. Let's get into the types of codecs. First, we'll start with SBC. SBC stands for Subband Coding. Any Bluetooth device that does audio will be able to use the SBC codec. SBC works with everything, so you're never gonna run into a scenario where you buy a pair of headphones that are Bluetooth headphones and they won't pair with your Bluetooth-enabled phone. Unless there's something wrong with the Bluetooth antenna itself, they'll work together. 
just because it's common doesn't mean it's bad. A big weakness with the SBC codec, however, is that there may be a lot of quality variability between devices. Cheap devices using cheap Bluetooth components will provide worse sound than better devices with better components, even if they're both using SBC. Next, we move on to Qualcomm's Aptex family. These are proprietary codecs developed by Qualcomm, and you can commonly find them with headphones intended for use with non-Apple devices, especially Android. There are different kinds of Aptex codecs. There's Aptex, Aptex HD, Aptex Adaptive, and Aptex Low Latency. Each of these has a different purpose. As a group, Aptex is better than SBC because it preserves more data, which means a better quality sound. But individually, the story is sometimes different. All right, we'll start with Aptex. Aptex is the oldest of the Aptex family of codecs. It's not too different from SBC in the amount of data that it can transmit, but it tries to give a little bit better quality of sound by giving you better frequency response at some ranges and less overall distortion. Aptex HD. This is the high definition version of Aptex and provides uh, general improvements in sound. It's noticeably better than both SBC and Aptex. Aptex Adaptive. This format tries to give you the advantages of both the low data requirements for Aptex and Aptex HD's higher quality. In fact, it's meant to replace both. The thing with this format is that it automatically adjusts to whatever you're listening to and it changes the quality based on its needs. So audiobooks, for example, use fewer requirements than high fidelity music. Aptex Low Latency. This one is especially good for movies and is commonly used for devices intended for use with televisions or video. That's because the low latency helps guarantee that there won't be synchronization issues. For example, you're watching a movie and your headphones are using SBC. You may notice a slight lag, maybe 100 milliseconds, between the time something happens on the screen and the time you hear it. To me, this is especially annoying with lip syncing. You know, You'll see the lips move in just a split second later, that's when you hear the actual voice. Aptex Low Latency tries to prevent that, making it so that the sound and the video match pretty much perfectly. AAC. AAC stands for Advanced Audio Coding, and it's a format developed by a number of companies. It's most commonly associated with Apple, since that's the default codec for all Apple products, but Apple just licenses it. Like with Aptex, there are different types of versions of AAC, and newer versions help with adaptive sound quality and lowering latency, but they're largely invisible to the user. The thing about AAC is that it's very processor intensive when compared to SBC or Aptex. That means that the quality of the compression and the transmission will depend heavily on the quality of the hardware. Apple has tweaked their software and hardware to handle AAC standards very well, which is why AAC tends to sound better on Apple products than other products. LDAC. LDAC is a newer codec developed by Sony and it brands itself as the audiophile grade Bluetooth codec. That's because it tries to take advantage of a lot of the tech enhancements developed as part of other codecs. More importantly, it can also transfer a lot more data than other codecs. For example, LDAC transmits three and four times as much data as SBC or AAC and twice as much as Aptex HD. So that means that it should sound at least twice as good as Aptex HD or three or four times as good as uh, SBC, right? Not necessarily. There are nuances to the codec that can leave it sounding either really great, matching and beating the quality of Aptex HD, or more on par with Aptex or SBC. Ultimately, it's only as good as its connection strength. LVAC is not used by many devices yet, but Sony's making a push for it, so you'll probably start seeing it used more and more. Here are the key takeaways. Just, you gotta remember the following. First and foremost, when shopping for headphones, make sure that your headphones and audio source, like your phone or your computer, support the same audio formats. If your device supports Aptex HD, for example, get headphones that also support Aptex HD. Second, if you're going to use them with multiple devices, decide which is most important to you and use that as a starting point. So pick your favorite device and start from there. Third, in the worst case scenario, you'll use SBC. SBC works with everything. Fourth, the quality of your hardware, not just your headphones, but your phone or your computer matters. Better hardware will give you better sound. No sense spending $500 on a pair of headphones that will sound mediocre at best because you pair it with a budget no-name smartphone. If you're waiting for me to say whether one format is better than the other, here's what I'll say. If you're on Apple hardware, that's easy. Stick to AAC. If you're not on Apple hardware for higher quality music, try to go with Aptex HD or LDAC. If watching movies, try to go with Aptex Low Latency. All right, by this point, you should pretty much know all you need to know about the major codecs. If nothing else, just remember this. For your best results, make sure that the audio source and the headphones support the same codecs. That's it, that's the golden rule. You're gonna get the best sound that way. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe for more reviews and information. With that, see you next time.